Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today I'm going to be talking about the popular books that I did not like. The first book is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is a book that I gave a 1 out of 5 stars and the main reason I did not like this book is that I found it really confusing. I don't know if it's just me, but I just couldn't get into the story because I had no idea what was going on. There was like a lot of different terminology used in this book and I just couldn't get used to it and I didn't know what they meant. And because I had no idea what was going on, I just didn't like the book. The next popular book that I didn't like is The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson and I know so many people love this book and I definitely can see why people love this book. This book has to do with grief and it follows our main character whose sister has died. I didn't like any of the characters in this book and I didn't really like our main character either. I wish I did enjoy this book more but I just didn't. However, I did read I'll Give You the Sun and I love that book. I do want to mention that I did like the writing in The Sky is Everywhere but I just didn't like the characters and I just didn't really like the storyline either and how things turned out. Another popular book that I didn't like is The Diviners by Libba Bray. This book is really long and I just felt like it was so incredibly slow. I didn't like the pacing and I didn't really like any of the characters much either. Also there was so many different point of views in this book. I know some people really loved it but I personally didn't like it. There was just way too many and I just didn't like the way the story was told. I heard the audiobook version is fantastic. I didn't listen to the audiobook version so I might have had a different experience if I did but I just didn't like this book. The next book is The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. I know, but I had to read this for a class in high school and I really didn't like it. I just don't really like the world to be honest. I've also seen the movies in class and I was just so bored. I know so many people are either fans of the books or fans of the movies or both. I remember when reading this book, it was just very difficult to keep up with what was happening in the story. The world is really complex and there's like a lot of details. It was just confusing so I ended up not really liking the world. This was just a book that I was never really interested in so having to read it for class was not fun. Another book that I didn't like is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. There was so much hype surrounding this book and when I picked it up, I was just really disappointed because it wasn't what I was expecting. I didn't really like the writing and I didn't like the storyline either. And I thought the romance was just eh. It wasn't anything that I was falling head over heels for. And I was also confused reading this book. You might be seeing a pattern of me saying that I found this book confusing and that's why I didn't like it. If I find a book confusing, how can I enjoy it? How can I love the characters and the storyline? And usually fantasy books can be complex. The world can be confusing. So a lot of the books that I'm mentioning are fantasy books. I do really enjoy the fantasy genre but they're usually like a hit or miss for me. The next book is Crank by Ellen Hopkins. This is a book that's told in verse and honestly I just didn't like that format. I haven't read many poetry books and that was like my first book that I've read that's written in verse. One of the main things that I remembered when reading this book is that I felt disconnected from the story and the character so that definitely played a role in like my enjoyment of the story. The next book is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. This is a well-loved book and I can definitely definitely see why people love it. For me, I think it just had to do with timing. When I first read this book, I wasn't really much of a contemporary reader. This book also dealt with some heavy topics which I really wasn't in the mood for. I read this book in 2013 and that was about four years ago. I didn't connect to Charlie's character. Also, this book is written in letters and I didn't really like that format. I found the writing to be a bit dull and the story overall was just kind of boring for me. The next book I didn't like is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. The reason why I don't like this book has to do with the romance. Going into this book, I kept hearing everyone talk about how beautiful the romance is and when I was reading it, I was just like, what? I was just so frustrated with our main character. This book is like a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. In this book, there is a king that marries a new person every single day and the morning after their wedding or something like that, he ends up killing that person. Shazi's best friend is one of the victims and Shazi volunteers herself to marry this king in order to get revenge and kill him. So our main character has this hatred towards the king because of what he did to her best friend. But upon meeting him, she immediately has mixed feelings about him and she starts to become attracted to him, falling in love with him and I'm just like really you've known him for a week and you're already developing feelings for him like what happened to all of your hatred towards him like I understand if she doesn't like immediately kill him because she has to plan this out but this hatred that she had for him just basically disappeared and I just did not like the romance I was not on board and it was just so frustrating to read about so I just didn't like this book another book that I didn't like is On the Fence by Casey West in this book there was like a lot of little annoying things in this book but it continued to like build up and that just really annoyed me 
me. This book was just full of tropes and cliches. Usually I would enjoy some of these but I just didn't like the way it was written. I also didn't really like our main character Charlie. Charlie is like a tomboy but I didn't like her thinking when she would like see like another girl who's dressed pretty like feminine. It was like she was looking down upon them and making assumptions about them in a negative way and I didn't like that. And I also found the romance to be very cringy. Charlie's character just felt childish and the writing also felt childish. Maybe I would have enjoyed this book a lot more if I read it like four years ago. This is definitely one of my least favorite contemporary books. So those are all the popular books that I did not like. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments some popular books that you didn't like and I will see you in my next video. Bye!